Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to release feeling like a victim when it comes to your specific person and how to release feeling like a victim in any circumstance. So it can be just by life. Sometimes we feel victimized by life. We feel like life is doing things to us that does not feel good. So how do you release this victim mentality? Why is it very crucial to release the victim mentality? to be able to manifest what you want. Before I jump in, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel right there. And also know that I offer lots of manifesting courses. All of these courses are linked below. Tons of courses to teach you how to do anything you want, so have a look. And the last thing I'll say is I am still doing my weekly giveaway. It is a giveaway for a bundle of three eBooks. And the way you enter into this giveaway is you subscribe to my channel, you like this video and you comment below. I choose three winners every week for to give them this bundle of eBooks. Okay, so let's jump in. How do you no longer feel like a victim with your specific person or by life in general? First, let's look at what being a victim is. It's really important for us to understand. It's also kind of um, a cunning or an insidious type of state of being. So often we can feel like a victim and we can be so programmed to feel like a victim that we don't even know we're doing it. So essentially the core essences of feeling like a victim is you feel like some outside thing it could be a person, it could be a force, it could be um, a, a, like the government, it could be something out there is having an impact over you, has power over you, and is essentially has control over how you feel. Okay, so often when we feel like a victim, it has to do with a specific person and we'll feel like they are doing something that makes us feel a particular way that we don't like. So when you feel like a victim in a relationship, one of the common things to do is to try to manipulate the other person's behavior to get them to try to change. Okay, we do this in a lot of different ways, but you know what that feels like. You're basically trying to manipulate the situation either through your own behavior or trying to convince them to be a different way with you. And as we all know, this doesn't work at all. This doesn't help. This never makes people feel better. Okay. So there's a few things I really want you to understand about being a victim and why it's so important to change it and how you really do have all the power to change this process in your reality. So feeling like a victim, the cornerstone feeling is like you are powerless like something else has control over how you feel. And any time you feel like this, any time you essentially feel powerless and you feel like something else has control over you, you have forgotten that you are God, that you are the creator, that you are literally the one in charge of molding and shaping your entire reality. The unfortunate part about the victim mentality is, and about manifesting in combination, is that we are creating everything. So if you choose to uphold the victim, feeling like I don't have control over this person, this person's treating me this way and there's nothing I can do about it, you are unfortunately creating that to be the reality because you're creating everything. But if you choose to flip this victim mentality and continuously remind yourself, I have all the power, because <laughs> you do. In your own reality, you have all the power. Nothing has the power to do something to you that you don't allow that thing to do. So when you flip your victim mentality and you land in your power again, you realize I'm the operant power. I'm the one directing everything happening out here. I'm in full control. And this is not a delusional mind, um, you know, manipulation where you're like manipulating your own mind to think you're in control. It's the felt sense of your own infinite nature. 
and the recognition that, look, people can only treat me in a way that I believe I'm going to be treated. Life can only happen to me in the way that I expect and assume it's going to happen. I'm the one in power here. When you realize that, and when you realize you're also directing people to treat you in a way that, so that you feel powerless, you have control to change this. I know Neville Goddard spoke about this, and I, can't, I don't know what books he spoke about it in, but I remember stories of, I think there was one story in particular, maybe a woman and her boss, and the boss didn't treat her very well, and Neville essentially said, well, I bet you have thoughts all day long about how he's not treating you well, and she was like, yeah, I do. I'm like thinking about it all day long, how he's not treating me well. This is classic victim. He's not treating me well. He's mean to me. He doesn't like me. He's not doing what I want, he or she. Classic victim mentality. And I think what Neville directed her to do, he's like, well, change what you're thinking and feeling, sister. <laughs> like, switch that up. Think that he, like, start telling yourself a new story that he's being really kind and fair to you. Start telling yourself a new story that he's surprising you with new behavior. Start telling yourself a new story. Start expecting that you're going to receive different treatment from him. She changed her inner dialogue about what that person was doing and what happened. That person started showing up in a new way. So the thing to know about the victim mentality is it will never serve you. It will never serve you. Sometimes, and this is from a more psychological perspective, sometimes going into a victim mentality is the only way we know how to feel worthy of receiving care or love meaning sometimes when we go into a victim mentality we think okay well at least someone's going to care now because i've been so hurt and wronged by life now someone's going to care for me but it's really just an unfortunate position because remember you're molding the entire world based on your state of being and if your state of being is i'm a victim life treats me poorly, that person treats me poorly, you have to consistently manifest that in your reality. So it's best to just let go of the victim mentality altogether and to come back into your own inner power. I talk about how I did this in my own life deeply in this video. It's also how I became a master manifester. You come back in your own power, you recognize, woof, nothing can harm me. I'm God, like nothing can harm me unless I unless I choose for that to happen. So I'm not gonna choose for that anymore. I'm gonna know that I'm in power, I'm in control in a soft, graceful way, but I really am the one in control here. And therefore, I'm gonna be good. Nothing's gonna go wrong, okay? Thank you so much for being here with me in this video. I love being here with you. Please make sure you enter into the contest. You subscribe, like, and comment below to be entered, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.